Good Friday is the day we commemorate the crucifixion of Jesus. Someone asked why we call it that if it's the day Jesus died. Here's why I think we call Good Friday good. My greatest fear personally and our greatest fear as humans generally is that if you really knew me you wouldn't love me. I desperately want to be loved and I'm desperately afraid I won't be because I'm just not good enough. I have too many failures, too much inadequacy, too many struggles, too many sins, too much shame. I do my best to perform to the level of everyone's expectations and put on a good face that says I have it all together and I'm worthy of love. But I always feel like I fall short and as a result miss the loving embrace I so crave. Everyone keeps their distance or they get just a little close for just a little while and then they pull back from me when they discover my worthlessness. On Good Friday, I was loved. On that day, for the very first time, I saw someone love me utterly at the highest personal cost imaginable. Not when I was at my best, but when I was at my worst. At that moment when I shouted, Crucify him and give us Barabbas! At that moment when I betrayed and deserted and killed him, he let me, and still he loved me. And he understood that I didn't know what I was doing, that I was better than that, and he didn't measure my worth by my shame. And he forgave me, and he continued to reach out to me to build relationship with me. He still put me in charge of stuff like feed my sheep. He still wanted to be with me. He still called me friend. In the whole history of my universe, Good Friday was the very most precious moment to me. Of all my good days, it was my most good day. The resurrection just told me that it wasn't some needy loser who valued me that highly. It was the coolest, least needy person ever who loved me that much and saw such value in me. It was God. On Easter I discovered who it was who liked me so much and thought I was so terrifically valuable. But it was on Good Friday that he loved me. It was then that he demonstrated that a person could know everything about me there is to know and love me utterly, infinitely, unconditionally, like me, value me, admire me, sympathize with me, want me in his life. There used to be a commercial in which a little girl points to all the places on herself where this little boy has shown her attention, sometimes awkwardly, because he likes her. Sometimes his signals were pretty mixed, like where she points to the place on her arm where he kept poking her with his finger, or the place on her dress where he spilled Kool-Aid. Then, near the end of the commercial, just before the announcer's voiceover starts advertising whatever the product was, the little girl points to her cheek and just beams with pride and self-satisfaction and says, and this is where he kissed me. And you understand that all the little boy's previous attention had also been expressions of his love for her, even though it had not necessarily always been clear to her. Good Friday is where he kissed us. And so, for the rest of our lives, we treasure that first kiss and call it good.